It was only one day that I will not forget till death. July 23rd, 1998. Captain Wesker took the operation and sent Bravo team, led by Captain Enrico Marini, to find out the reasons of these murders. Bravo Chopper left Raccoon City to the crime scene, but on its way some kind of engine failure happened to their chopper, and we lost contact with them. Captain Wesker spent his time trying to get a sign they were still alive. We were all really worried now. What the hell is going on out in that forest? Is it like the Bermuda Triangle? The place where everyone goes without return? But we were never contacted by Bravo again. And that's when the captain ordered us to follow them. On July 24th. Just 24 hours since Bravo had left, we flew to find out what happened to the Bravo team. And that's when the night the night began. Night began. 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 Flying above the forest in search for clues, I saw a wrecked chopper which had to be Bravo's. Brad maneuvered us down to the ground and we began investigation. Nothing was apparent so far. Not even a trace of the Bravo team was found. Then Joseph found something horrible. The dead body of Kevin Dooley. His eye cut out and his body murdered relentlessly. Our hearts began to throb. The forest was dark. The silence was killing and only our footsteps were to be heard. Then suddenly, someone began to scream. It was Joseph. Joseph was attacked by some creepy dogs. I targeted my gun, yet my body froze at the sight of the animals tearing frost guts out horribly as he was moaning in his agony. These were not ordinary dogs. For God's sake, they were monstrous! They ended their meal, took a look at me, and prepared to strike. My body was still frozen. I stumbled down to the ground as a monster dog jumped towards me, shooting it down. When someone held onto my shoulder, it was Chris. The dogs began to chase us. We ran back to Brad. The chicken heart was showing himself, but they fled away as soon as the monsters attacked. So we lost hope. Chris and I turned around as the creepy dogs jumped to attack. Chris, this way. Captain Wesker had shot the creature down, and we continued to run. All I heard was Chris telling me to run into the nearby mansion. My eyes glimpsed it. We barely knocked on the door and entered this mansion. I was hardly breathing as we looked at this maze of a gigantic house. What the hell is it doing here in the forest? You smell no sound, Joe. What is this place? A dining room? 